What is up everybody, I am Mega Short Fuse, and uh, I'm bringing you some more Need for Speed to run. And tomorrow, some of you commenters might have noticed that I promised to give my two cents on this. Uh, my thoughts, if you will, on uh, the run. And I registered for the Need for Speed forums, and that place really hates that game. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna disprove all that. First of all, this is all opinion based, and some of these things are very, very uh, specific to me. But let's start right off the bat with, is it worth it? Is the Need for Speed run worth it? Yes. Uh, for me, it is. And uh, here's why. From the run, the run itself, the single player campaign, uh, there is no story to speak of. If you want story, go buy Driver San Francisco. You will not be disappointed in the story departments. But this game has the unique case of the story is a backdrop to its environment and racing. And uh, the story is just there. It's not very good, but it's just there. However, um, if you do want to play the single player campaign, uh, here's how I did it, and it was extremely gratifying once I did it that way. I got the game um, right before I went to school, and I came back, I sat down, and I played the whole of it, like from 6 o'clock till 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, total runtime, 2 hours, 9 minutes, I think. You know, taking uh, dinner out of that equation. But it's really great once you just sit down and do it as a run, as um, I would say even as intended, which is a marathon session of gaming. And it's extremely gratifying once you do the single player campaign that way. So yeah, there's no, it's not a very good story, but if you do a literally a run of the run, um, it's very, very good. But if you do it in bite-sized chunks, it blows. Don't, don't. <laughs> bite-sized chunks, it blows. Um... What else? There's challenge series. Now, challenge series, I like them. I, I like the challenge series because uh, it's challenge. I mean, getting that um, above gold thing, what, whatever is above gold, the gold medal, that's hard. That's actually quite hard, and it's uh, a challenge in of itself. And I've heard some people say that the handling and the gameplay just sucks as a whole, and uh, no, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Um, I would say that it's challenging, but it's gratifying, like, I have yet to nail the perfect way to take corners, like, actual corners, but other than, um, those, I, I can, you know, turn, it works, but other than that, um, driving itself is very, very fun, uh, the music as well, the music is just, the soundtrack is, some tracks are specifically designed for this, and there are some, uh, tracks that are appropriate to the tracks, not this one, but in the single player, and it's very atmospheric and it's great. The graphics look awesome. Granted, the rims are terrible. The rims themselves are shitty as all hell. They suck. But other than that, the graphics are awesome and the cinematic moments are also quite good. Um, the multiplayer. Now, some people really like the Need for, Need for Speed Hot Pursuits multiplayer. Me, personally, I did too. I like the race part of it. Uh, I really sucked at Hot Pursuit because I just had no friends to play Hot Pursuit with. So, that put me in a peculiar situation of I could only play race, effectively, because, well, an Interceptor, but that was, that was fun. I'm gonna say that it was fun. But when you're playing as Hot Pursuit, just everybody, it was a chaotic clusterfuck of everybody trying to go after the person in first place. And, um, this has a more standard approach of, it just has races, but it has taken the Call of Duty approach of, while leveling up you get cars, uh, you get all your abilities up to level 10, so you don't need to worry about those, they're permanent. Um, but once you level up, you get emblems and all that shit, and there's challenges, and those challenges are actually quite, quite challenging in themselves, they're fun. Like, uh, before that I played with the 911 GT2, which is a terrible car to have a challenge to complete three races with, but, hey, those challenges are actually fun, and, uh, and add something to the multiplayer. And the multiplayer itself, on PC at least, it's stable, there's not much lag, you saw a guy chop across the stream, but that, that's a rarity. And, uh, people generally tend to be not dicks they they know how to drive again at least on pc and on console i'm guessing that this is a more console centric game uh it is capped at 30 frames per second on pc but as you can see it doesn't really matter it still uh behaves and looks awesomely so in conclusion now would i recommend this um yes this is a game like like you just heard it, it's very specific towards me like i did it in a peculiar way but as a racing game, it's very solid. Disregarding the story, it's a very, very solid racing game. Is it an awesome game? Falls short. Is it a great game? Yes, it's a great game. And a lot of you want Need for Speed Underground 3. 
And while I get you, by God I get you, Underground's, the Underground series 1 and 2 were awesome. But in case that ship has sailed and it looks that way, look towards the present and the future. Need for Speed has been doing extremely well. You want customizing, but me personally, I didn't really get that much into customizing. I wanted to race, and that's... I've said this before. That's what the Need for Speed series is about. It's about the racing, not how you tune your car. It might help to tune your car. It's not all that important. So, yeah, that, that's what I wanted to say in conclusion. Underground... This, this is a great game, and if you're hoping for Underground 3 to come one day... By God hope. But... Hold out, dude. Relax. If it doesn't come, the Need for Speed series is going in the right direction. I did a video about it. It explained it. It's awesome. So don't disregard the Need for Speed series for what it is just because it doesn't have some shiny shit to put in your car. So thank you guys for watching. Um, share this around if you know anyone who likes Need for Speed and gameplay and such. And uh, yeah, bye.